So how can somebody kind of follow the plan that you're using in terms of food and lifestyle? Is there a way on your website you, they can, they can yeah. follow what you're doing, get advice from you? So just recently, actually today, we launched a meal planner hmm. that is a customizable meal planner for people who want to lose weight or just be healthy in general. Where is it at? What's the website? So it's called plantmealplanner.com. And it's pretty easy to use. I mean, we just used it and you just drop the food pictures into the different parts yeah. of the day, like breakfast, lunch, dinner, snack, Monday's done, Tuesday ready to go. And yeah. it's all healthy, whole foods, plant-based recipes that are like yeah. nutrient dense, mm -hmm. delicious, because they're from you. Yeah. A lot of people have goals in life, whether it's goals in fitness or money or relationships or whatever. Yeah. And you could be the most energetic toward achieving your goals, but if you're like super energized to watch the sunrise, but you're looking to the west, mm -hmm. you're not going to see it rise. Right. Somebody has to tell you, look to the east. Mm -hmm. And you're kind of using this site to tell them how to supercharge their fitness and weight loss journey. Basically. Yeah. Did I say that okay? So, yeah. That's okay, there you go. <laughs> After the credits, stick around for a bonus scene about a little tiny glimpse of High Carb Hannah's garden. Hey guys, it's Jake Mace, the vegan athlete, and I came out here to the Tucson area in Southern Arizona to meet my friend, High Carb Hannah. Hello. You guys have seen her on YouTube before. You can follow her at her channel, High Carb Hannah. And where are we at right now? We're at your tiny house, which you guys built yourself. Well, my husband built it. I didn't, he built it. I didn't really do anything. But he has a channel as well, <laughs> Life Inside a Box, where yes. he shows the whole process of that. And your channel is focused on plant-based lifestyle, healthy food, getting fit, and you made a huge transformation with weight loss. Yeah. What's your story? Tell us your story. When I started my weight loss journey, I was 188 pounds. I kind of started my weight loss journey on a plant-based diet. I lost 70 pounds, but once I started weightlifting, I gained back like 10. Mm. So yeah, here I am now. <laughs> and you've used a plant-based lifestyle for all that. Yeah, following a whole foods plant-based lifestyle. So like a lot of potatoes, a lot of rice, vegetables, fruits, whole grains, a little bit of nuts and seeds, just no oil or any processed foods really. And why, why the name High Carb Hannah? Because most people out there, they think in Atkins where it's yeah. high protein, no carbs. So what's your philosophy on the high carb? I think I did high carb just to prove people wrong about the low carb thing. Mm -hmm. Like high carb is very controversial, I guess. But you do but, a high carb diet. Yes. But I kind of feel like people are getting away from the low carb thing because people realize it doesn't work. And What kind of foods are you eating that are high in carbs? Like what are some of your staple foods? Potatoes you eat a lot of, I know, and rice. Potatoes, rice, so like a lot of fries, burrito bowls, burritos, tacos. We like Mexican food. <laughs> but then, you know, like I'll make curry or like beans and lentils. Anything that you can make, you can make high carb vegan, pretty much, honestly. And you and your husband, Derek, live here and your property is pretty big. Like how much land do you guys have? So we have 40 acres where we live. We're kind of in like the beginning stage of developing our property. So mm -hmm. my husband built our tiny house in Tucson and then we moved it here. And we just got like our rainwater catchment set up because we're totally off the grid. So then we have our solar. You have solar out back. Solar. A rain roof. A rain roof. To on catch the ground. rain. Yeah. If it rains. Right. Pray for rain. You planted some fruit trees and you've had a nice looking garden that has become five times bigger than when I was here last time. Yeah. So There's some stuff growing. Not a lot, but it's. It's going. And I'm using, actually since I met you, I'm using your website and your Instagram and your YouTube videos because it gives me such good food ideas. Oh, does it? It does, because even though I'm, you know, I've been vegan 16 years and I'm pretty athletic and I'm, you know, usually pretty fit, I mean, doing things like your vegan uh, buffalo cauliflower. Yeah, that one's like my favorite. It's so good, and your like sweet potato fries. I mean, yeah. these are great recipes that I've been sneaking off your site to make my diet better, you, you know? You need it. I watched <laughs> one of his stories once and he was making like cinnamon raisin bread with guacamole and hummus and moringa powder and nutritional yeast on it. And I was like, that sounds like the worst thing What's in the wrong entire with that? world. <laughs> Cause it's like cinnamon raisin bread. You're supposed to put almond butter or something on oh. it, not like guacamole. You were goofing on me the other day for eating uh, too much. Like I'm eating all the time. No, because in your what I eat in a day videos, it looks like you eat nothing. Oh. <laughs> Cause you always forget to film. He's like, I forget to yeah, film like, you know, all mm. everything that I eat. So it looks like he eats like a thousand calories a day. And it's like, you don't look like this if you eat a thousand calories a day and work out four <laughs> hours like you do. Like thumbs up if you want Jake to make 
better what I eat in a day videos. Like full on ones. You should like okay. full on do it and like track it and like show people that like you can eat a lot of food on a vegan diet. Cause that's the biggest thing. People think you come to a vegan diet and you have to like starve yourself cause carbs are so bad for you and all this stuff. But right. you told me that you eat like 6,000 calories a day. Easily. That's ridiculous. Like that's a lot, but he's a very active guy. He's like six feet tall, you know. I'm like, like 195 yeah. pounds, I'm 6'1", and I'm always in pretty good shape, but I eat more than anybody else that I know. Yeah, but you're very active and stuff, so yeah. it works for you. You become very active yourself, you know. We were talking, <laughs> we were eating Mexican food for lunch, vegan burritos and stuff, and you were just going off on how you are in love with weightlifting. In love with weightlifting. And you just started working out like that. Yeah. So Hiker right. Hannah from years ago didn't do that kind of stuff. No, like when I did my entire weight loss journey, pretty much all I did was walk. Food and walking. Well, yeah, so I just was really good about my food. I ate, you know, a lot of just whole plant foods and just ate until I was satisfied. And I just did like a little bit of walking. So it was really easy to actually lose weight. But yeah, now I've gotten into weightlifting and I just preach it from the mountaintops because I don't know. It's made me feel better than anything else in my entire life. I mean, what are some of the benefits you're getting from like lifting weights? You said you're doing hit running, a lot of sprinting and high intensity running. I did running. once. So I just started hit running. <laughs> okay. But it seems like you've adopted yeah. this fitness routine that's more intense. Yeah. And you're loving it. Yeah. So before I was basically just walking every day and doing like jogging, not really running, just kind of like jogging. Okay. <laughs> not intense. Just, just trotting. Yeah. Just kind of jogging slash walking. I wouldn't even call okay. it jogging. Anyways, so, and then I would go hiking a lot. So I've gone hiking a lot. I stopped going hiking so much because now it's, once it gets really hot in Arizona, the rattlesnakes come out. And once you see a rattlesnake, you are like, they are scary. Especially when they rattle at you. I've had it happen to me twice in literally a month. And I'm like, and I follow you on Instagram and I, you do Instagram story your, your hikes and you always have snakes and dogs chasing you down. Oh my gosh, yeah. The dogs follow me, I'm like the dog whisperer. Yeah. I'll turn around and there'll be like four dogs following me and they're all happy and they just, I don't know, people are like, it's because you're vegan, they can tell, <laughs> they, can, they can smell it. They know you mean peace, you won't eat them. Yeah. You but know, they get really excited, like I'll walk sure. by and the neighborhood dogs will be like, <gasps> and they'll just like run up to me and follow me. And then yeah. I have this responsibility of like getting them home safe. <laughs> but I... Yeah, I walk all the neighbor's dogs. That's very nice of you. <laughs> Pretty much. And folks don't realize that in Arizona, whether it's Tucson, where we're at now, or Phoenix, yeah. when you're hiking in the summertime, it might be 105, 110 outside, but actually in the sun, it's like 180 when you're under oh the gosh. direct sun, so it's yeah. very hot. Yeah, and it's also just like bad for your skin. You can get dehydrated really quickly. Like, What are some of the benefits that you've got from going to the gym and working out with the weights? So weightlifting has been life-changing for me. Really? And it's like really only been a month that I've been doing it really consistently. So three or four times a week, um, depending on how sore I am, I go and do like a pretty intense weightlifting session because I'm really trying to build muscle and stuff. Sure. And then I'll do like the hit running like twice a week which is just you're doing like but a I vigorous just, running yeah for just short like, bursts yeah just 30 seconds sprinting one minute resting and i do that for like 20 minutes so the benefits that i've noticed from that versus just hiking and doing steady state like, like low walking. impact cardio mm -hmm. is just the biggest thing is the mood change like i've just been so happy and i don't mm. know if it's because i've never really done a lot of intense exercise i did play a lot of sports when I was younger and stuff, but I've mm -hmm. never been like training or anything like that. I've never yeah. really ever lifted weights. He saw me like I can't even do a push up. No, you did a very good push up. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna feature your push ups in an upcoming vegan athlete video. When I can do one like legitimately we'll Okay. We'll do that. But it sounds like you are um, going to the gym, you're doing high rep well, I'm doing, so I do between eight and 12 reps. Per exercise. Per exercise. And then you do multiple sets. Yeah, so three sets, I do three sets, eight to 12 reps. Mm -hmm. And I kind of try and do it till failure, but. And you, and you I, say that you're getting happier and yeah. you feel like um, your mood is better. And you also, you said you felt like it's just a way to balance out your hormones or whatever too. Yeah. So I think the biggest benefit is I'm happier. I don't know why, like I can't explain it to anybody, but it's just like euphoria. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's just a constant endorphin rush. Yeah, <laughs> sure. Something. But it really lasts a long time and I get really antsy to go to the gym. Like I'm really excited in the morning to just like wake up and like, bye Derek, I'm going to the gym. Mm -hmm. Bye. And it's 
my favorite part of the day and I never would have thought I would be one of those people that's like I love exercising right but I really 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 love it if you can't tell <laughs> the other thing is I've just noticed that like my energy's a lot better mm. I sleep a lot better mm. oh my gosh I sleep like a rock because I feel like especially when you first start weightlifting it's just a lot of different like new stress to your body that mm -hmm. it's never been through before mm -hmm. and your body just really you need needs sleep to, to recover, recover. Yeah. yeah so i sleep so good and yeah it's just everything's really good and i i find i can eat a lot more yeah <laughs> and my body has i like i said i've gained a little bit of weight did we say that maybe? but you said that your clothes are fitting better because your shape yeah. is becoming healthier yeah so, so the I'm weight actually, is kind of irrelevant Right. You're shaping yourself better with the weightlifting. Yeah. I mean, I'm not going to lie. Like, I was kind of skinny fat. I had no butt, like pancake butt. I'm not even going to, like, for real, you guys, pancake butt. <laughs> and I actually look in the mirror now and I'm like, I have a butt. Like, it's coming. Mm -hmm. So it's exciting. And just, you know, like feeling stronger and like Confidence. being able to like feel some muscle under there, you know? Like, I'm intimidated by your guns. I don't, I don't even want to show mine right now, yeah. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> He's like super strong. I'm like, not. <laughs> no, but you're you're making gains. You're like making yeah. growth in the gym. You said that you even, in this short month or two period, you've seen yourself get stronger. You're pushing mm -hmm. more weight and you're having more fun with it. Yeah, it's just not as difficult as it was in the beginning. Yeah. I didn't really realize how weak I was and how little muscle I had until I went to the gym and it was like, everything was five or ten pounds and I was just like, over <laughs> here struggling like so hard. I feel like weightlifting is a different thing from just like trying to lose weight and trying to do cardio because it gets you to be able to not focus on the scale so much because right. like when you're weightlifting you're gonna gain weight but you you're gonna get smaller like you're gonna get a better shape you're gonna look better so you can stop focusing on the scale and just start focusing on like how you feel how much stronger you're getting all of the like all that kind of stuff like every time that i go to the gym and it's easier and i've pushed more weight or i've done like you know more work mm -hmm. and not had to struggle so hard it's just i'm like yes i'm getting stronger i mean i don't want to i don't want to say too much your husband's right out there behind the camera but since i've known you you know <laughs> you look, look the healthiest you've looked since i've known you i mean i've known you for maybe almost a year and mm -hmm. you, like your face and your body looks the most physically fit and, Aww. you know, and toned and youthful that I've seen. Thank you. Jake. It must be the, ath the athletic fitness you're doing. Well, it's only been a month. That goes with your diet. <laughs> yeah. But a yeah. month is, a, is enough time that you can see some results. Yeah. So I actually believed for a long time that you didn't have to do cardio to lose. I mean, that you didn't have to exercise to lose weight or to be healthy. And there are like plans. You thought you can do it just with food, healthy yeah. food choices. Because it's always, you know, people always say like, it's 90% in the kitchen and you can't out right. exercise a bad diet and I do believe that obviously I still believe like having a good diet is the core to everything because if you don't eat well you're not gonna have the energy you're not gonna feel good you're not gonna be able to even go to the gym mm -hmm. let alone like see changes in your body or just have like a good outlook or be happy or positive or anything or just have an outlet for life's stresses yeah that's healthy and not like your partner or your work or cigarettes or alcohol right. like your outlet is the gym yeah yeah but i just think it's it's the greatest thing ever <laughs> and you know a kingdom has to have a queen and a king yeah and the queen is diet and the king is exercise so you yeah. now have the kingdom yeah i truly believe that like mm -hmm. over the last few months i just really think that you can't really achieve the best health and feel the best and live your best life unless you have it all together you know people always got me for like why well, i'm always having a good day and i don't think i am but maybe it's yeah. still working out and he works out like four hours a day you well, do well you like three <laughs> maybe like three i do like my own personal one hour workout a day but then yeah. i do a one hour martial art work because i have to maintain material i was taught in kung fu world and tai chi world. yeah then i video martial arts on camera which is like an hour of working out and then you meditate and you like stretch and Correct. do all that kind of stuff. So, and then I garden outside, so maybe that four hours a day. Yeah, and I mean, I always thought people like that were insane, but I could totally see myself turning into something like that. I'm not that insane. Just because it's fun, like it's fun. Yeah. People think that it's, people think that it is hard and that it's gonna be painful to lose weight or to take care of yourself, mm -hmm. but it's not, like it's literally the funnest thing in the world. It is. To like see yourself grow, to see yourself change, to see yourself get healthier and stronger and fitter. It's the best thing. 
folks out there, where can they see you work out? Can they follow you on Instagram and see some of your workout videos? Yeah, I'm not. Are you posting on your I, Instagram story? No. I really have to get better at Instagram. I suck at Instagram. Like, I post a photo a week. You've got maybe. over 150,000 followers. I know. <laughs> I know. But I think I saw somewhere on there where you posted a few, you let a few slip. I mean, I've posted like a few stories. It's just, I feel like I post so much on YouTube that. Right. You know, YouTube is really the key place to find me, but let us know in the comments if you want. Sure. HCH to just start doing some more Instagram stories. <laughs> and folks can go to your HCH High Carpenter YouTube mm -hmm. and they can find your whole lifestyle change. You kind of video documented your whole weight loss journey. The whole thing from and the beginning, everything I screwed up. Mm, oh my God. That's, yeah. that's quite some foresight to actually have the foresight yeah. that you're going to make this change. You're going to succeed. Let me video the whole process. That's pretty yeah. cool. Because yeah. most folks don't have the four pictures like, like that. Yeah. Well, that's the thing is it's like most people just have, they don't even have a before picture or they don't have, you know, like their journey. And I think that right. it's important for people to know that like this is a journey. It's going to take some time. It's not like, bam, three months and I had my dream body. It's like this took me two years. Yeah. And Back I had and to be very probably. consistent. Like I screwed up a lot. And mm -hmm. that happens to everybody. But I feel like a lot of people give up because they see people posting, you know, I did this diet for three months and I lost all this weight and now I look amazing and you should buy it, right? Right. Where it's like, that's not real life. That doesn't happen. Mm -hmm. It's You're it's, still today, you're still trying to stay healthy. You're still battling that. You're still fighting yeah. a good fight, kind of, you know? Well, I mean, I think health is, it's a lifestyle. It's not just like a diet. If right. you think it's just going to be a diet and it's just, three or four months that you're gonna have to do this for and then you're gonna be at your goal and weight over. and then it's over, you're just gonna gain it all back. So how can somebody kind of follow the plan that you're using in terms of food and lifestyle? Is there a way on your website you, they can, they can yeah. follow what you're doing, get advice from you? So just recently, actually today, we launched a meal planner hmm. that is a customizable meal planner for people who want to lose weight or just be healthy in general. I wanted to give people the power to create their own meal plans and not just be like, here's your seven day plan, this is what you have to eat, go get your food and like make it. Because I wouldn't want someone to plan out my meals for me or like plan out my exercise for me. It's like, I wanna do what I, you know, I wanna eat the food that I enjoy and I wanna do the exercise that I love to do. Mm -hmm. Basically we have a meal planner that's full of Whole Foods plant-based recipes. Where is it at? What's the website? So it's called plantmealplanner.com and you can go on there and see the video of how it works and everything but basically it's just a customizable meal plan where there's new recipes added every single week. Everything is in single portion sizes because I realized through coaching people for three years basically yeah. that the biggest thing people struggled with is they don't know what to eat, they don't know how much to eat and they think you know they need simple easy meals that don't take hours to prepare. So we wanted to keep it very simple. All the meals are like 30 minutes or less, all whole foods plant-based. They're all in single portion sizes. But like say that I was cooking a meal for both of us, you can go into the meal planner and just um, change the quantity to two people and it just oh. repopulates the recipe for two people and then it will also repopulate the shopping guide. If you are if you have a family of like six or anything like that, you can just easily adjust all the recipes to different serving sizes. I just wanted to make it single serving size because all of our books are like multiple and I wanted to make because it Because really you guys simple. also have ebooks on your recipe guides and stuff. Yeah. This is a meal plan that they can use week mm -hmm. in, week out, month in, month out to plan their whole, their yeah. whole diet plan out their whole weight loss journey, get new recipes every week. On that page, you can see the video of how the whole meal planner works and just get the general information. There's some testimonials on there. We have a 30 day money back guarantee on all of our products. So, mm. you know, if someone signs up and they're like, I don't really like this, no questions asked. We just give everybody a refund. Cause I think, yeah, I mean, you don't like, you want to try something out, you know? So they go to plantmealplanner.com. Mm -hmm. They sign up for an affordable monthly fee. They can cancel anytime. Cancel anytime. And when you go in there, they can just like take like Monday and they can design the, the recipes for that day and then Tuesday and so on. And the recipes yeah. that are healthy that you've already been suggesting yeah. at your other website, which is the High Carb Hannah website. Yeah. So all of the recipes are designed for optimal weight loss. And there's like breakfast, lunch, dinner, there's snacks, there's desserts, all that kind of stuff in there. So you're never going to be like deprived or, you, I mean, you can have like chocolate ice cream and 
peanut butter shakes and everything. But it's all vegan and it's, it's all, all chocolate, ice cream, whatever. That whole is a, that's from your site, whole food based products. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Now, is it like calorie restrictive? Do you guys count calories or what's your thought process on how to provide a healthy diet to yourself and people? So the beauty of a whole foods plant-based diet is um, you don't have to count calories. Okay. The, so you're more concerned with healthy ingredients right. in the food. The thing that I think about counting calories is like, say, you know, someone gave you a meal plan where it's like you have to eat 1800 calories a day or 1600 calories a day. Mm -hmm. Like every single day you are going to eat 1800 or 1600. Like you're going to eat up to that limit. But just having a limit like that and putting a limit on your calories is mm -hmm. so like maybe it won't be restrictive that restrictive food wise, but it's restrictive in your mind. So like right as a human we are just programmed to rebel against stuff like that like when we feel restricted we're just like screw this and we just it always leads to binging so i to never be honest with you i eat a lot of food but if you told me i can only have 2,000 calories tomorrow i would get kind of panicky yeah like you, I, I, would, you'd start I would start thinking to about, you start thinking about food all the time you'd start yeah. planning out your food you'd start That's thinking true. about all the stuff that you can't eat like mm. it it really screws you up mentally. Whereas it's like, maybe if you were eating intuitively, you'd only eat 1600 calories a day because what happens when we're losing weight is our body, like our bodies don't want to have excess weight. They don't want to be in an unhealthy state. Your body wants to be at its optimal weight. The problem right. is like most people are eating hyper palatable food that sends your hunger signals like way out of drive. So you can't even listen to your own hunger signals. So eating a whole foods plant-based diet, like it balances your hormones, mm. all that kind of stuff, your insulin levels. But the thing that happens is you're able to actually realize and listen to your body's natural hunger signals. Whereas like on another diet, like a junk food diet or standard American diet or- well, Let's like, say like a sausage Atkins diet, like full of yeah, meat products. Like your hormones would be really messed up. Right. What happens when you, are overweight though is your body naturally drives down your leptin levels so that you don't have as high of a hunger drive. So people that are overweight, like they typically, they, like they aren't very hungry. They mm. usually just eat a lot because usually they're restricting themselves, trying to lose weight, mm. or they are, you know, like just addicted to junk food or having some type of an emotional issue where they're emotionally eating, like depression or doing something else. But when you're mm. eating the right foods, you don't need to count calories. It's so much better for you to not count calories. Sure. Then you're not gonna be restricted. But this is the rest of your life. So don't think about like, this isn't for you if you don't think that you could do this forever. And I'm not saying like you can't have junk food every once in a while, like that's part of a But you build that into, your, into the website. Yeah. There's a whole information section on like exercise, a healthy way to approach exercise, how much to eat, how to just change your mindset so that you can lose weight and keep it off and not go insane. And it's pretty easy to use. I mean, we just used it and you just drop the food pictures into the different parts yeah. of the day, like breakfast, lunch, dinner, snack, Monday's done, Tuesday ready to go. And yeah. it's all healthy, whole foods, plant-based recipes that are like yeah. nutrient dense, mm -hmm. delicious, because they're from you, yeah. which they're I think amazing. they're really delicious. And <laughs> somebody can, you know, here's what I, a quote I've always said is that a lot of people have goals in life, whether it's goals in fitness or money or relationships or whatever. Yeah. And you could be the most energetic toward achieving your goals, but if you're like super energized to watch the sun rise, but you're looking to the west, mm -hmm. you're not going to see it rise. Right. Somebody has to tell you, look to the east. Mm -hmm. And you're kind of using this site to tell them how to supercharge their fitness and weight loss journey. Basically. Yeah. Did I say that okay? So, yeah. That's okay, there you go. <laughs> Where do they go one more time if they want to go check it out? So if you want to check it out, go to plantmealplanner.com. We'll put the link in the description box. So if you go to the link in the description box, we are doing a seven day launch sale where you get $5 off, but you lock in your rate at $5 off for the entirety until you cancel. Like rent control. Yeah. Okay. So you will, if you sign up during the seven day launch sale, like you're gonna, you're gonna have $5 off every month until you achieve your ideal weight. You don't mm. need it anymore. <laughs> Or you can cancel or whatever. I gotta say, since I've known you, you have this uncanny ability to connect with especially women. Yeah. For some reason, like my base on my martial art channel is 85% guys. My vegan athlete channel with mostly gardeners is like 50-50, but your base is mostly women. Mm -hmm. And they, I think, I've been around you in person at events when we're around a lot of your fans. Yeah. Your, your fans. I love them. <laughs> and they, they kind of think of you like their friend because you're kind of an example of a just very relatable 
you know, normal yeah. person who took their life and made it amazing. And now yeah. you're kind of sharing your process with them. And this is another website they can go to to kind of yeah. jump on the high curve Hannah bandwagon. That's kind of what I like want to be is like the older sister that tells you like, just, you know, trust yourself. You can do this. Yeah. Stay on the right path. I know it's hard. Like, I hate it when people are just like, it's so easy, blah, 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 blah. It's like, yeah, it might be easy, but it takes time and you have to be patient mm -hmm. and like know that you're going to screw up and know that you're like, you're going to go on vacation and you might gain a little bit of weight, but like you'll lose it. You're going to be fine. Like mm -hmm. it's just going to take some time and like just take care of your body because it's the only place you have to live. That's like the cheesiest. Quote. No, it's true though. But it is like just focus on. You've gotten on... this one shell and you got to treat yeah. it right. And it's like, just focus on your health and I just want women to focus on their health and stop focusing so much on weight loss because mm -hmm. weight loss comes with health. And when you focus on your health, it's just a much better ride. <laughs> At lunch today, you've been talking about how you're kind of throwing the scale out and just kind of enjoying the mm -hmm. fitness aspect of what you're doing because you're reshaping your body to become this more athletic body and you're... Yeah. I mean, after losing so much weight and stuff like that, like it's just, it's like my end goal I did have like a goal weight at one point and it was like, what's even the point? Like, I just want to feel good. I want to have energy. I want to be strong. I want to be able to like not live a life where, you know, I'm like weighing stuff or counting calories or not that I like did that, but like, I just want to be a good example. I want to like show people that this is like, this is your life food and all of this stuff. Like it's just so important, but it's not everything. And like, it's more important to feel good and to be healthy than to try and like fit into a size zero gene, <laughs> basically. Within the martial arts, I teach fitness in the martial arts and I'm always helping people achieve their fitness and weight loss journeys as well. Yeah. And it's very satisfying for me to help somebody else. Yeah, it's the best. Like honestly, if I didn't even get paid to do any of this or like I would do it for free. It's like the mm -hmm. like when I meet people at events, it's just, I cry like you guys and your stories and just the way that you've changed your mindset and your life like it's just everything because mm -hmm. I've been down the destructive path like I've you know been there we've all been there yeah and it's just nice to connect with people who are trying to better themselves so the power of you is that using your tech and using your audience you're able to offer a very affordable plan yeah that is also very professional at the same time yeah that's what we want to provide is like good quality content for people so that they're getting the most bang for their buck and like mm -hmm. all that kind of stuff. Well, give me a hug. Thanks for being on my channel. Thank you for coming. Thanks for the friendship. Keep up the weights because you're looking good. So are you. And next, thank you. <laughs> it always looks good. He's like, I've been doing this for 14 years. <laughs> next time we'll do a push-up contest and I want to see five or I 10 will, full push-ups. I will focus on push-ups. That'd be great. And I'll be able to do it. And please check out the link down below. It's in the description and also the comments and take advantage of it because it's brand new and you have to get that discount from the beginning and I know you guys will make a positive life change with her plan because she knows what to do. I do. Go vegan and grow your food at home because it's important to have a garden as well. Yeah. Yours is looking really nice outside. We're, we're working on it. After the credits, stick around for a bonus scene about a little tiny glimpse of High Carb Hannah's garden. What's totally cool about Hannah and Derek's place is that in addition to living off the grid, doing solar and rainwater harvesting and building their own tiny house, they're planting a garden of fruit trees and plants, edible plants. They have some kumquats and citrus just started. They're doing a retention basin where all of their gray water and rainwater is directed toward their fruit trees, so they're being very low water usage. Over here they have a nice squash and melon patch with 30% shade cloth above. They're using worm castings, compost, azomite rock dust minerals, and look at this nice shade above there to shade out the intense Arizona sun. And they're having major success with epic melons like this that are growing in their garden in just the first year. Pretty cool, and they have other varieties down in there, like that orange one. Over here we have some more baby fruit trees just planted, like fig trees and jujube, Chinese date. 
they're harvesting all their water off the rain roof that is back over there and they direct the water into these tanks right here that can be used to water their trees and crops later and they have some nice raised beds just built which you guys can see on my youtube channel from before and they have some tomatoes lettuces just starting out in these beds and again a very smart 30 percent shade cloth above i can't wait to come back in like six months and see the growth this looks fantastic it's so cute and you can't beat the view